Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we are just doing a little kind of update video. What's happening with me, what's happening with my store on eBay, all that sort of stuff during the time that we are in. I'm not going to go into the situation too much because we're all very well aware of the current situation at the moment. But I thought it'd be interesting just to let you know in eBay terms, in reselling terms, what I am doing. Now, of course, many of you will be aware at the moment that I'm going through this trans transitional period to obviously get into university. And as of now, university is still happening, fingers crossed. I am I'm kind of concerned that they are just going to push it back and it might be pushed back for maybe six months or so, but we really don't know. I mean, at this time, it's just speculation to say that, um, but yeah, fingers crossed it is still ha happening. That's what the university has told me. So I'm now obviously in the situation where I need to get rid of things, but I can't get rid of things. I can't really sell tons because I don't really want to be going out too much, not necessarily for myself spe specifically, but for other people. Um, there's people that I know and there's people out there as well, just generally, who if I go out, it makes it worse for them. Not necessarily for me because I'm sure I could get through anything that would happen to me because I'm young, I'm healthy, I don't have any underlying conditions, anything like that. But for other people, you know, the decision isn't mine to make, essentially. Because if I go out, then that is directly or indirectly affecting someone else who it could have disastrous effects for. So therefore, as I say, it isn't really a decision for me to make personally. So what I've done with my eBay store is I have set a five-day working dispatch. Yeah, I am basically going out once a week into town or into an area where there's a few more people. I am going out every day for a walk, which I normally do that anyway, but I am being careful obviously when I do go for a walk. Luckily around here there's not too many people and especially down the back roads it's not too bad as well. But I am actually limiting myself to one trip out to obviously do the parcels or to go into town, get food, anything like that. I think it's a good decision in terms of the wider population and stuff at the moment for me to do that even though as i say if it was entirely my decision i would want to go out there two or three times a day uh, sorry not two or three times a day two or three times a week um but it's not just me that this affects and therefore i have i have to take that into consideration now what does this mean for my sales and things like that it means that my sales are going to slow down for a little period and so obviously I've said that I need to get rid of stuff now the car boots aren't going to be an option for me to get rid of stuff anymore anyway um, not for the foreseeable future at least and many many other resellers have posted videos with the fact that car boots aren't really going to be an option for buying and for me they're not going to be an option for selling stuff and getting rid of stuff so I am in a little bit of a predicament because I could continue on as normal simply say right I'm going out two, three, four times a week. I'm going to keep my business running. I'm going to put a, a one day working dispatch on. I'm going to do all the different things I can to get as much out as possible. Um, but, I, you know, I can't do that. And so I need to get rid of stuff, but it's looking like I can't get rid of stuff. So have I got a, any other plan from this, right? So I'm going out once a week. And so I need to take all my parcels on that day, right? So how can I get more sales on a five working day dispatch because that's gonna be pretty hard to do. I'm thinking, as you've seen in the vlog, I've done promoted listings, I've done send offers to watchers and stuff, and I'm hoping that doing things like that, possibly even going into your room, getting a few more listings done as well. I hope that regular listing, regularly being on the account, accepting offers or responding to offers, responding to messages, as I say, doing a promoted, doing the, uh, doing a promoted at a good rate as well, because obviously I want to clear stuff, and doing the offers to watches. I hope all that will counter the five working day dispatch, and I can still only go out one day a week, so I'm doing that, and that's good for, as I say, the wider situation but I'm still selling okay. Now, I'm very, very fortunate that I've decided to go off to uni because if I was in this situation and I wasn't going off to university, I'd have to make a lot more money and I'd have to really actually uh, continue to push it, essentially. And that would be very hard. And 
I don't know what sort of decision I would have to take then, whether I would have to take um, a slightly more selfish stance and have to go out more because I obviously need to make a, a certain amount of money. But at this point, as I say, we're going to university, I'm not needing to make any specific you know, high figure or whatever like I previously was. I simply need to get rid of stuff for my eventual departure to university. And so I'm in a very fortunate position with that essentially. But I can see how other resellers obviously who are doing this full time and who are uh, really needing to make that income and obviously needing to make that income for their families are, very, are struggling with this. Maybe on a moral perspective, um, I don't know, maybe just on a day to day perspective, I'm not really sure but I can see that there's that kind of idea of well I shouldn't really go out but I need to go out because I need to make an income. I, I can see that side to it and it's a very valid side and, it, and it's um, one that I don't think, I mean I've not really looked into this or anything, but I don't think the government are really being incredibly sympathetic for on the side of self-employed individuals. I know that they are catering quite massively towards um, obviously employed individuals and obviously that's just another benefit of being employed over self-employed at the moment of the current situation but I don't think they're really financially uh, taking into account or being really sympathetic towards uh, the smaller business owners or, or smaller self-employed individuals or sole traders although as I say I would have to look into that a little, in a little bit more detail so it is one of those situations for me personally that's what I'm doing that's how I'm kind of stumbling along at the moment basically obviously I'm doing other things online I'm making money in other ways online obviously I'm making a little bit money here of uh, money here on YouTube as well and that's a benefit and I'm grateful for that as well so what I would encourage people to do actually as a side note if you would like to is um, go online find find ways this is the internet is a huge benefit in this situation go online and try and find ways of making money if you can obviously you're gonna have to put in the time you're gonna have to put in the effort but when the going gets tough the tough get going my uh, headmaster at high school actually said that to us when he was leaving in his leave of assembly now I didn't know it was relating to the Billy Ocean song at that time because I was well what 13 14 um, but obviously now I realize it was it was that song um, but it's very valid saying when the going gets tough the tough get going so obviously it will take work it will take effort but you know if you've got to make some money uh, then that might be a, a other alternative as well trying to build up something else that's a solely online thing that you don't actually even need to go out of the house to post your parcels or anything like that or get supplies for your business or whatever it may be um, a solely online thing that you can then be doing right by the community the wider population but you can also be making money online and um, keep the economy going in, in a more long-term stance because obviously you won't get taxed until the next year but at least you'll have still be making money and then obviously Obviously, that go that tax then goes towards the economy. Now, yeah, okay, I'm a thinking in a very naive, younger person mindset, like, oh yeah, you know, we can help the economy. My little bit of tax is going to help the economy and all the rest of it. And yeah, okay, maybe I am in a little bit of that mindset, a bit of that naive mindset. But I mean, I think that if enough of us continue the economy, continue working in the best way that we can, we can actually collectively help maybe not sustain the economy because I don't think we're at that point but we can at least prop it up a little bit in you know and and just help things help help keep things going essentially and um, yeah I am kind of sounding a little bit like the little cog in the machine that I've kind of just been completely conformed to um, but you know I, I think it's it, we need this we need this kind of pulling together this spirit at the moment not only for the economy obviously for saving people's lives foremost but as well if, if we can try and contend with both or tackle both that would be brilliant we can obviously um, set up things at home on the internet doing things like that to make money uh, while obviously self-isolating we can obviously get a bit of the economy going in that way and we can obviously help save people's lives as well I do think we can we can tackle both here and we can actually redirect um, essentially the the money that's 
being earned from the economy we could, or, or being lost from the economy, we can redirect that into other ways in terms of online means of making money and then obviously supporting the economy that way. Although, saying that in terms of a political standpoint or a logistical standpoint, the online methods and things like that would get saturated and, and therefore you, you face other problems that way. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just rambling now. So, um, but it, you know, for... Uh, for now, that seems like a good thing to do. Um, in terms of further down the line, you could obviously have some negative effects from that, and that's something you've got to bear. Well, not you, but you know, leaders of the country and stuff have got to bear in mind in terms of the saturation, in terms of redirecting um, money and the economy and all the rest of it. You know, to more of an online basis. Um, but still, you know, do what you can make money if you can online in certain ways if you, if you can find them uh, put the effort in really really um, you know just keep going with it and obviously do the best for the country by self-isolating while you can and do it for other people even if you're healthy like me and you're young and you feel like yeah I'll go out there it's fine it's all right do it for everyone else who you know has underlying conditions has whatever it may be and they may not get through it if you just stay in if you do this it'll it'll really really help honestly i believe that um now i do not follow everything the government says but i do think on this occasion there does have to be an element of underlying trust in the people that are that are obviously trying to uh, orchestrate this and also the people who are are kind of the the frontline workers let's say there has to be an element of trust in those otherwise the whole system just falls in on itself essentially and, and we we can't do that we have to in this moment we have to have that basic level of trust and and so uh, for this time i'm not going to be necessarily uh, particularly a, an incredibly flamboyant individualist but i'm going to be more of a conformist and and that's generally how it works and that's how it kind of has to work a little bit when you're faced with a crisis because when you've got all the cogs working together to form a big machine in a crisis that's how you get over it if you've got all the little cogs trying to you know do do their own things their own way it won't work you'll never form that that holistic machine and you'll never get through things so anyway that's just my uh, little kind of bit on on the whole situation and stuff and uh, yeah i am going to be doing vlogs as well as you will have seen over the last few days they're going to continue not going to be on the daily but they are going to be um every now and then probably twice or three times a week something like that maybe even a little bit more i'm not sure but probably not the daily on the daily because uh yeah i've just realized it probably with the editing and stuff like that and doing all the other stuff i'm doing uh it, it wouldn't be viable time wise but yeah i will see you very soon guys thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah take care of yourselves as well